Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Mr. and Mrs. Alan Spaulding. All right, uh, champagne is making its way around the room. If everyone would take a glass, please, so that we can toast some newlyweds. Everybody getting a glass? Get a glass, I'll proceed. Olivia, please let me be the first to officially welcome you to the Spalding family. You're a very lucky man, Dad. And I'm happy for you. I really am. I'm happy for both of you. Because you're a perfect match. You're, you're a terrific team. You're similar enough to understand each other. But you're different enough to keep things interesting. And you both, you both approach life with such a, a passion and such an intensity. And I know that truly great things can come from that. Just look at, look at this wonderful place that we're in today. For years, this hotel has been a derelict white elephant. And you, Olivia, you saw the potential that was here. And in a few short months, the Beacon Hotel has now become the destination in Springfield. And Dad? <laughs> Oh, well, I think everybody in this room knows what happens when you put your focus and determination to something you want. Me? Yeah. <laughs> You're doers, both of you. You make things happen. And now that you have decided to join forces, I, for one, can't wait to see the results. And I know I speak for everyone in this room when I tell you that I sincerely wish you both a lifetime of happiness. Here, here, here. Okay, enough of that. The reception is down the hall in the martini bar named after the bride. Honey, you were wonderful. Congratulations. Proud of you. Congratulations. Come on, you want to go? Sure. You ready? Yeah, all right. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Where are you taking me? I am the luckiest man in the world. I think we're both pretty lucky. You know, this has been a long time coming, Olivia. You were pretty resistant, you know. I wasn't resistant. I was wisely cautious. Oh, is that what you call it? Uh -huh. Well, you were certainly playing hard to get. Yeah, well, you loved every minute of it. Of course I loved every minute. I love every inch of you. I love everything about you. Your strength, your independence, <laughs> your beauty. Philip was right. Mm -hmm. We are a force to be reckoned with. Hmm. Well, look out, world, because here we come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's plenty more where yeah. that came from, but we have uh, guests. And I think we should get back to them. Uh, uh, well, you, you go back. I've got something I need to do first. You were doing business at a time like this? Well, it's uh, part business and part revenge. Oh, does this have something to do with your sweet sister Alexandra's disappearance? Do tell. Come on, you naughty, devious man. Tell me everything. I will soon, but uh, I, I want you to know that my sister is about to learn who is truly in charge. Now you go back to the party. I won't be long.
if, tell me that Alan did not run off and leave you here at your reception for some business call. With my blessing. And aren't the first words out of your mouth? Shouldn't they be, I, I'm so happy for you, Liv? Are you happy? Because if you are, I am for you. I Sam, mean, Sam, I, look what I have now. I've got this place that I've created, and I've got this wonderful, strong, powerful, adoring man who wants to share in the success with you. Me. You didn't answer my question. Just let me enjoy it. If I don't have to ask, neither should you. But I think I'm just... Shh. I'll be back. Where are you going? I'm just going to go to the beach and collect my thoughts, okay? Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. That was some nice toast that you gave. Thank you. Meant every word of it. It was some nice disappearing act that you staged with Olivia in the elevator, too. That was not planned, if that's what you're, in your hopelessly inept way, are trying to suggest. I'm not suggesting anything. Mm -hmm. I'm, just, uh, I'm just saying that, I mean, what? Well, it must have been awkward being in the elevator alone with, with Olivia. Yeah. yeah, it was a little awkward. So actually, it was really awkward. Is that what you wanted to hear? You happy? Did you, you just chill out? out? I'm just trying to mm. help you out here. You're trying to help me out? Thanks, pal. You're not helping me out. Lydia and my father are married. They're happy. I'm happy. Okay. Cool. That's cool. Great. Fine. Great. Okay, great. Where are you going? I'm going to get some air. Okay. Have a nice air break. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Yeah? Fabulous. Yeah. Good. Alan had a phone call to make, so I, I thought I'd come out here and reflect on my good fortune. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll leave you to it. No, stay. I, I was heading back in anyway. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry. No. No, it's okay. Do something you want to say? Please. It's okay. Okay. I just wanted to say that I'm... I'm sorry. That's exactly what I wanted to say to you. I am the one that owes you the apology. No. Yes. No. Trust me. <laughs> yes. You had every right to take my head off in the elevator after I kissed you. I, I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't. And I've, I've been sending you nothing but mixed messages. You know, I think I was just so attracted to you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. It was wrong, and I shouldn't have done it. I apologize. I know all you've been looking for from me was a clear signal. Okay, so you gave it to me when you gave the host. It's true, Olivia. It is true. God, you, you and my father are so much more compatible than you and I could ever be. I think, I really do think that the two of you have a chance for a great life together. And damn it, you, you deserve that. You're a good man, Philip. Yeah. That's what I'm like causing my father to have a heart attack. Look, no, yeah. that, that mess was created by both of us, okay? And, well, no, really, I'm the one who's responsible for most of that. Listen to no. Yeah, I am. I am because I knew you were vulnerable and, and hurt over what happened with Beth, and I, I... I manipulated you and pressured you in more ways than you know. And I'm certainly not going to tell you now because it's going to make me look like I'm shamelessly desperate, so... You're an amazing woman. I hope you know that. I mean it. I really do. I... I like you. I like you, too. So, can we just put all this behind us and, and move forward? Sure. Um... Do we get to like each other anymore? Can we still I do that? I think that'll be all right. If we like each other. Okay. That's really good. <laughs> um, 
I've been wanting to give this back to you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Thanks. I'll see you inside. Okay. 